What's up guys? I'm Shane and welcome back to the Nuzlocke. Great news, we signed our first two recruits already. What an impressive showing we must have had. I still am shocked we got Pierre Martin. But as much as I love, as well as Caterpie has played for us, and even Magikarp and sometimes, Martin's going to be better than all of them. Same thing Marcus Brewer. I don't know, if we get that other athlete, Brewer may or may not even be playing quarterback. I haven't figured that part out. But this team is so bad, I, I just have to take an improvement where I can get it. I mean, we got a real big lead on Freddie Nash now. Not enough to put Minnesota out of the way, and they're actually going to have their visit already. So it's gonna the gap's going to get closed pretty quick. But if we had just gotten a couple TFLs or something like that, if we had just met one of his requirements, we would have signed him. We were that close. Weaver, we're already 770 up on o OU, so that's great. And Marcus Smith... We're behind Notre Dame, but again, when you put the low-lock people on here, it takes a little bit. We're at 535. That means Notre Dame did not put any points on them. So I'm going to offer him the scholarship, and hopefully next week, we'll either have the leader be within 10 points. And if we don't get them whatsoever, if we get jumped by another team, that's it. Like, that's the risk we took by going low-lock. We can't replace them with anyone else. All right, I think who I want to go after this week that we could potentially keep if we win... I want a wide receiver, and if I lose this week, we can still go after this guy. Since I said line Corey Brown, I can just go after him every single week until we win a game. That part's not going to affect it, but I'm wondering, because he's from Georgia, but he's got a 4 to 6 8 speed. These guys both have a 4 5 8. This guy's got 4 4 6 because it's 54 overall. Forget him. These two are a higher lock percentage. They're going to be faster... And this guy's from Texas, which is a pretty good recruiting base to have if we can somehow set up a pipeline. I mean, he's a little bit slower, but I'm going to take my shot at the bigger guy. He's 6'2", which is the same height as this guy, but he's 30 pounds heavier. So slightly slower, stronger guy. I think this is who I'd rather go after. Plus, possession receiver, that's what we need. We need someone to hold on to the ball. Not that we're getting any drops or anything, but that's what we have to prioritize. No one's going to be fast for us. So if we can just hold on to the ball on a slant and guarantee that we get the catch, that's all I'm concerned with. Oh, I can still scout these guys after I sign them. Cool. Yeah, see, Pierre St. Martin, so he's a 71. Now, I don't know how fast running he's going to be, but he's great impact blocking. His elusiveness is actually 81. That's great. 80 catching, 68 catching traffic is kind of trash. 76 release. So he's probably also going to be playing... I mean, no matter what, he's going to be probably our... Uh, third or fourth wide receiver too depending on where they'll allow him to start and brewer I, I, but i just gotta know what your throw stats are 80 throw power that's not bad all right we got a game against troy who i thought they were gonna be slightly better overall uh this is the start of our conference play it doesn't matter if we win the conference or not no matter what next year i think it's the mac who's gonna be next in line so that's where we're going we could lose every conference game. We're just going to move on up because it's a challenge. It's not about whether we... It's not a, not like Param Crow's Assassin's Dynasty. You're just... You're going to move a conference every year. So if we win the conference, great. I highly doubt that's going to happen. Although Georgia State and South Alabama were a few years into the sim. In BlackRock, they're terrible. But maybe they're better here or maybe they'll still be terrible too and we can win at least two conference games. You know, considering this uniform is all yellow, it's not as bad as you would think it is. I mean, it's it's still bad, but it, it could be worse. Already in a third and eight here. Oh my god, Panpour. You are incredible. Is he a senior? I don't know. Because he might already be the frontrunner for the DGA. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, Santru, another possible candidate for it. No one in the defense so far has done anything to prove they're any good. It's just the offense. And Sage getting the catch here. All right, another third down for us. And Magikarp on the drag. Oh, he can't quite pick it up. We're going to go aggressive, though. Because I, I don't know. How long of a field goal is this? Yeah, even the computer's like, nah, your kicker sucks, man. Don't do it. Beautiful. Oh my god, Sandro didn't even have to try to pick up the first on that. 
We got no visits or anything like that today, so I don't have to worry about targeting any specific group. I'm just going to try and win. But if we lose here, that's okay. Oh my god. Magikarp. Oh, these tight ends are both putting in some play. I think it's because they know they're not going to be starting next year. Alright, here's the big one. Can we do anything on defense? No. No, we can't. And beat over the top. If they just run streaks, we're going to lose every time. I don't know why the computer never figures this out. Oh, there's a nice return for Pidgey, though. We might not be able to stop him, but maybe we can go score for score for him for a little bit. Beautiful Magikarp. Again, making a big catch. Oh, no. I went to go throw that, and it's a strip sack. And that's a touchdown for him. So much for going score for score with him. Mm. Take the jump off the counter. P gets knocked out. And Panpour, oh, I threw it to him short. He can't quite convert. But this is a team we're probably not stopping, so... Yeah, let's stupidly go for it. Oh, they could not stop. I don't know if they saw it coming or not, but 11 yards on halfback dive for seeing true. No one covering Caterpie that time, and he holds on to it. I was hoping. I, I gotta stop going for trucks with any of these guys. I, I should really look and see what they're good at. I never actually do that. I just try it until I figure out what works and what doesn't work. They keep going for a lot of blitzes, so these kind of plays work every time. I'm still petrified to find a screen pass. Like, I feel like that'll get blown up on us, but I might give it a shot. By the end of the first quarter, we're down 14-7. I try to dump it short for Magikarp. Fourth and two. We've already gotten the fourth down conversion once. Oh, they didn't need to. <laughs> he was in the backfield before I even gave Sandshrew the damn ball. It's one of those things where I feel like a field goal is going to do nothing for us today. Like, yeah, maybe I should have taken the points. But I just, I feel like today it's not going to matter. Or they can do boneheaded stuff like that. Oh my god, Badoof almost getting a pick. Holy cow, the defense got to stop. Oh, there is a blitz coming. I don't know if this is going to work, though. No, that guy was reading it the whole way. Oh, damn it, I had Caterpie open, but that was just congested over there. I mean, the good news is we got him pinned to the 10, but that's actually petrifying for us, because what if they go for a four verts or something here? Nope. Breaks off a tackle, doesn't break off the second one. And just like that, they're already past the 30. Oh, Dang it. Oh, yes, okay. Badoof gets him out of bounds. He started running up, and there was just no one around there. We had some good coverage on that, but I was playing a spy. I just kind of figured he would take off. And then there's that. Swablu at least gets him out of bounds. Oh, the screen pass gets blown up, though. Screen pass. I saw it, but I was controlling the defensive lineman. We do stop them. It's fourth and two. They do just take the field goal. Ooh, Sandro getting a miss. I got a feeling this is coming back with a holding, though. Yep. Oh, good. I was hoping for a blitz, and I got Sandro on that. Pick it up 19 right there. Oh, the read option goes for a big gain. Wide open. No one covered Caterpie, and then he fumbles the ball. So, you know, that's the thing. Damn. We probably could have done something with that drive. I wonder if we're going to get a turnover this year. I don't think it's going to happen. And for the nice catch. That leaves us with two seconds left. Take a timeout. Uh, we can't actually complete a Hail Mary. I mean, I'm going to try it. But I don't think... So where are we right now? Run like the 45. I don't think he can throw it to the 30. 
Oh, I was wrong. He could, and Caterpie actually comes down with it. All right, well, we don't get any points, but we get some yards. Going in the half down, 17-7. Oh. Nope. Okay, this guy's just... I don't know why they don't run the ball. He just knocked off two people and is gone. Mm. That was so easy for him. But they that's their fourth run today. Imagine if they had run the ball all the time. Oh, good blocks. Oh, my God. Some real good blocks. Sandrew, what a great screen. 17 yards on that. I don't know how Pansage got that one. I guess I just timed it right, and he's down injured. Oh, <sighs> damn. I should maybe look for a kicker, I think. Instead of a wide receiver, maybe a kicker next time. Because we have to go for this here. We can't make this kick. Ooh, Purloin. He got his hands on it, but unfortunately, I was moving as I threw it. It probably wasn't the best spot for it. Almost picked up the first, though. The problem that we're going to have here is just... It's a speed thing. It's, like, it's not necessarily skill. I got unlucky, and there's been a couple fumbles. Um, and one of them went back for a touchdown. And one of them was on a drive where we could have scored a touchdown. That part sucks, and maybe that's going to be the difference in the game when it comes down to it. But, they're so much faster, they can just lob the ball up. And, it, like, if they just ran four verts every time, they would be demolishing us. Oh, he finally takes off. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Made him pay for that one. His first scramble all day. He's going to remember it. Oh, and that was very inaccurate. All right, maybe maybe we are out of this game. All right, I just wanted to sim one drive, and the defense forces a turnover. First one of the season for us. I'm not even sure what it is. We'll see that at the end of the game. I just... I don't know. I was going to start super simming a couple drives. Oh, big sack for us. There was nothing I could have done. If I'd thrown it away, it would have been intentional grounding. But we're in four down territory right here, even if it's going to be fourth and 23. That was a bad pass. I just, I didn't want to take the dump off. I wanted to try and get some yards. Now, oh, that's all right. It's basically a punt now. A punt with a really good return. Come on, Venonet. Oh, my God. Well, that turnover went well for us after all. Uh, they just scored again. I'm just going to super sim this one out. We're going to make it a doubleheader. Wurmple, 25 of 47, 260 yards, a touchdown, a pick, and took two sacks. Again, I've had worse stat lines in other dynasties in one game is 41 to 7, so we're doing our best. Wurmple only with eight yards on the ground. Sandshrew with 39, but they started shutting it down towards the end. I was trying to lean on the run a little bit more, but everything gets shut down. Receiving, we had Caterpie with 78 yards, and then we had Magikarp, 4 for 40 and a touchdown. Nothing really impressive here. A lot of drops in the cold. Solana and Badoof with four tackles apiece leading us. Three TFLs, one for Pichu, Badoof, and Solana. Purloin got himself a pick. That was the turnover. First one on the year for us. All right. Uh, just so you know, I have to take him off the board, but that wide receiver, I'm just going to pop him back on. So I'm not going to need to update you on recruiting unless we sign someone, and I don't see that happening. So next game. Alrighty, we're taking on the Rice Owls today. They're the best overall squad we faced. Now, as far as a recruiting update for you guys, we took the lead on the other athlete. I did some more scouting. He actually went up two points. His acceleration's a 95. So no matter where I play him, he's going to be lethal. But, uh, in the bad news, Minnesota had their visit with the D-tackle. Uh, they picked up 1,400 points. So, you know. We're 650 behind now. I don't think we're getting the D-tackle after all this. But hey, we've already signed two recruits. We got the lead on some low-lock people. If we don't get the 69 or whatever overall D-tackle, I guess we'll live. Oh, beautiful to Caterpie. Sometimes they just manage to just have that little window. See, he's a little preoccupied. He didn't get his hands up for that pass, and Caterpie got it perfectly. Thanks for the blitz. 
Not a big screen pass, but I'll take five yards over the usual loss we get. Oh, big run. A little bit of slowdown there, but San True picking up eight on the read option. Had to take the dump off. Ooh, Pants here breaking a tackle. Fourth and three. I'm going for it. It's why I always go for these dump offs. What is this defense? This is as good a shot as any at halfback dive working. No, they beat us off the line. We're punching up here. I got to take my shots when I can. Speaking of shots. Nope. Oh, Swablu with the spine buster. Oh, you love to see it. Dang, that hall guy's cutting us up. Oh, getting back there, I mean, he gets the first down, but at least he doesn't get the touchdown. Oh, I whiffed mm. right past him, damn it. Oh, Panpour got open on the PA or, uh, rollout smash, and it was overthrown. This is Wormple's worst game by far. He's 3 of 8 right now. Even when he struggles, he usually stays at least at like 60-65% completion percentage. So, not a good day for him against this defense. There we go. Panpour picking that one up. Not the first down, but again, might as well just keep going aggressive. Oh, yeah. I like this front because I actually want Pan Sage here. Beautiful. Get some blocks. There we go. Sandrew picking up 15 yards on that. Beautiful screen pass. You think they'd see another one coming? No, we got that one too. I mean, we didn't get that far downfield, but I'll still take five. All right, I've never run this kind of read option before. Let's see how it goes. It went well. They all shed the block at the exact same time. That was beautiful to watch. Uh, I'm going to risk this here. This seems like it might be a better idea. No. Oh my god, we can't get the ball going unless it's a read option. All right, defense, third down. Screen pass. What? You guys saw that, right? You saw me line up the tackle. He watched him run past. And then the tackle animation happened when I was almost off screen. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Yeah, it's games like this. It's like, okay, it's nice that we got the Akron win, and maybe we can win against FCS later. I don't know if anyone else is still trash, but, like, it's not going to go well. But basically, we have to hit on the guys, like the freebie recruits that we get. Because that's probably all we're getting. Okay. I was hoping he would pitch the ball and I could keep pursuing, but he, he held on to it. He knew what I was doing. At the end of the day, so I finished recruiting or uh, scouting the quarterback we just signed. Well, not completely, but all the important stuff. Uh, he's got 76 accuracy. Which is not great, but he's still going to be better off than Wurmple is right now, even though he's slower. And if we do manage to sign these two athletes, on offense, that's going to be tight end, one of the wide receivers, the halfback, and the quarterback. We're going to have actual recruits, not walk-ons. And then on the flip side of that, the two athletes, they are both going to be playing cornerback or one of those positions, so we'll have some secondary help. And then from there, it's just putting some more pieces together and hoping we put together a good team. I mean, basically, the goal of this is to put together about 22 good players, like 22 recruits over four years so that you actually have a good starting roster so that you can hopefully win some games and your classes will keep getting better and better. Let's say this season we don't win another game. We only sign four people. We sign the two we've already signed and we sign the two athletes. That's it. That's all we're going to get this year, right? For an example. Okay, well, let's say we can put together a couple more classes. And then in year five, we're going to have, a you know, hopefully a decent team. If we win six games, that class will be ten people. And we'll still have the other three classes, so we'll have, like, a full roster. That's all it is, just, like, every year getting a little bit better. But we're going to have some solid pieces here. 
the 69 over, or well, I think he's a 67 overall quarterback now with the scouting. It's not great, but with awareness boost and everything, because the quarterbacks go up tremendously, if I can just not ruin him, he can still be a 90 overall player by his senior year. So that's not bad. But, you know, we are just going to need to win a couple games. Again, 0-12 is game over. So if we only put together, like, 1-11 in 11 seasons every year, and we get to that year and we've only got, like, 10 good players, remember, year 6, we go to the Power 5 conferences. Like, year 6, I don't know if we're going to be going... I don't know who the weakest one is. I want to say probably the Pac-12 or the... Yeah, probably the Pac-12. I was going to say the Big 12, but... They're, uh, they've got 12 or 10 schools or whatever it is, but it's Oklahoma and Texas, which will be monsters. But if we go to a power five conference and we're still having half of our lineup being, uh, walk-ons, we're in a lot of trouble. Oh my God. No one was on Magikarp. He does manage to pick up the first down just barely. All right. No screw ups. We'll at least pick up points on this drive. Big man Munchlax picking up the first down. Oh, I... Dang it. He cut back out. I thought he was following me on the scramble, but he, he was already edge, uh, edging back there. <sighs> dang it. I thought I had Makawita back there. And Pantsir's out for the game with a concussion that I did not know he suffered. Going to the halftime, down 14 nothing. All right, thanks, computer, for just angling Perlin wherever he wanted, and he's gone. Mm. All right, my goal for this game, it's out of hand. We're not going to win. I'm just going to try and not get shut out. Like, honestly, if we get in field goal range, even on first down, I might just kick the field goal just to avoid that. Avoid mistakes and just put something on the board. Oh, the full animation on the, on the uh, screen pass. I usually throw the ball, and the halfback is still moving. He actually did the turn around and stop before I threw it for once. Oh my goodness, Caterpie was wide open on that. And I'm pretty sure that's a face mask. It sure was. Alright, I'll take Wurmple. There we go. Hey, we're in field goal range now. Oh my god, Munchlax is on the, the rollout smash. Good god. Oh, Munchlax was open. Big man getting the touchdown. And we're not getting shut out today. He's a wide receiver? Oh, you know what it is? So to make the walk-on dynasty, what I did is I moved people around out of position. I don't think I cut everybody. So some of these guys are actually... Like, if I put Munchlax at, like, D-Tackle, probably he'd be good. I moved a lot of these guys around. So, whatever, I guess maybe a defensive tackle or something like that just got a touchdown. Oh, that screen pass, two yard loss. Wait a second. Are we about to be second half heroes? Is the comeback on? Screen pass. I can't get off the block, though. Oh, I just took out both of them. I'm like, I'll take out my guy, too. Oh, oh, we didn't get him down. Damn. Oh, the blitz almost got there. We ran engage eight, but he manages to break off tackle, pick up another first down. It's getting close, though. We're almost shutting him down. Another screen. Come on, Pidgey. There we go. Locking that up. Another screen, huh? Come on, Nkata. Up. Oh, okay, we do get him down. He picks up one yard, but, you know, that's still third and 14. Oh, damn. Nope. Even on 3rd and 14, they're just... It's in this situation where we're going to shut them down on 1st and 2nd down or keep it close or whatever, and in 3rd down, whether it's 3rd and in inches or 3rd and 52, they're going to convert. He's taking off. We tried to dive for his ankles. It didn't work. Perloin shows him out of bounds. You know what? I just appreciate the fact that they're taking away the hope now. I don't have to sit here and be like, oh, maybe we can actually come back. Nah, it's not happening. Yeah, there it is. Nail in the coffin. All right, fourth and eight. They've just shut us down completely again. This is our last gasp.
Oh, oh I thought Magikarp had it. No, he drops it. Um, yeah, this one's over. <sighs> a couple bad games in this one. But again, a couple games where I gave up halfway through them. All right, so the final stats today. Wurmple, 21-37, 186 yards, a touchdown, a pick, and a sack. Definitely his worst game so far. Rushing, they shut us down. Sandshrew got 22 yards, Wurmple with 11. Caterpie with negative four. That's, that's all you need to know. Receiving Sandshrew at eight for 45. A lot of screen passes. We were just trying to get him involved. Nothing happening. Munchlax down here did get a touchdown, though. We had Gumi, Skitty, and Purloin with six tackles apiece. Not really what you want to see. Skitty with three TFLs, though. Not bad for your 49 overall D tackle. Pidgey, Mankey, Purloin, Gumi, and Matchop also getting TFLs, and Mankey getting the only sack. Well, that'll wrap up this doubleheader. Um, I don't know if we're going to win any more games this season, guys. I mean, we do have an FCS school, and we've got uh, USA, South Alabama, and we've got uh, Georgia State. They might be bad. They might be good. I don't know. Sometimes Georgia State just turns into a powerhouse five years in. So they could be a 62 overall school, or they could be an 82 overall school, and we'll get smashed again. It remains to be seen. We'll find out by the end of the season. But got a couple recruits, a couple more we get the lead on. I guess it's not bad for year one. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit like down below. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get it delivered directly to your inbox every single time I upload. Any thoughts, suggestions, whatever you may have, leave all that down in the comment section below. Everything you leave down there, I will always respond to, unless you are the trolliest of trolls. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Shane. I'm out.